Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amora Love and today we are taking off our Christmas nails and I'm gonna be showing you guys my brand new set. Now, my nail tech has a YouTube channel and she's gonna be showing you guys how to take them off and how to apply a new set. And then on my channel, we're gonna be showing you guys the design. Make sure you guys go over to her channel. The link is the first link in the description and make sure you guys comment some looks that you guys want us to do, some things that you want her to do on her channel and what your favorite part is about this video okay let's get into it so these are the christmas nails they got so much loved everybody liked them and so did i so like i said in the previous clip if you want to see all her tips and tricks on how she removes acrylic nails definitely go to her channel and watch that video and for this video it's going to be all about the design of the nails so starting off we're using this gelish ph bond which is my all-time favorite because as a licensed hairstylist y'all know how bad lifting could be with this we find that there's no lifting and I love that next we're gonna go in with the primer this is what you're gonna need to adhere the acrylic down to the nail bed you cannot skip this step so now that we've done with those two prepping steps this is the shape I'm going with this is the ballerina shape so we're gonna be using black acrylic isn't that crazy? They have colored acrylic, you guys. You do not have to worry about your nail polish chipping or anything like that as a hairstylist or if you have an active job always washing your hands. This is your go-to. At least is my go-to. I love colored acrylic because I don't have to worry about anything chipping. The color is the color. It is what it is. And that's that on that. So she's going to start by applying a super thin layer to half of the nail to create an ombre effect. When it comes to me, I like super thin nails, even though they are acrylic. I do not like bulky nails and I do not like when nails are bulky right at the cuticle. It's just not my steez. So coming to her has been <laughs> an amazing life change because she gets what I'm trying to say. She applies it very thin and my nails do not be breaking like that unless I'm just doing the most. So after she's done doing half of the nail with the black acrylic, she's gonna go in with the lighter acrylic to blend up towards my cuticle. This is my favorite colored acrylic because it's the closest color that I've been able to find that actually mimics the natural nail bed, which is great because if you're like me <laughs> and you don't want people to notice when you need your nails done, getting something like this is ideal. And I love this color because for one, it's actually one of the only colors that matches with the natural color of a nail bed. Like, doesn't it? It's super close. So that means when your nails grow out, it's not even going to be as noticeable. Now we're going into these chunky glitters. Now that she's done with the ombre, this is, I think, a mix of different glitters that she put together. So if you want to ask her where she got these, go to her video. The link is in the description. She will give you the tea. So to put the glitter on the nail, that is different because it's not nail polish glitter. It's just loose, chunky glitter. So she's taking the clear acrylic and applying a super thin layer so that the chunky glitter can have something to stick to. So she's just lightly putting those in place. And then she's going to encapsulate it with a thicker amount of the clear acrylic. And that's what's going to keep the glitter in place so you never have to worry about anything snagging in your hair <laughs> because the glitter glitter is encapsulated with the clear acrylic which I love it's not just painted over with clear polish so it's not textured it's super smooth and I love that Next, we're going in with these silver stars. I love these, like I said in my vlog, I wanted these nails to look like a New Year's party floor after the fact. <laughs> Super dark, confetti, glitter everywhere. So I opted for these stars. I love these stars. So she's just placing them again with the clear acrylic and then going to lock them in with a thicker amount of the clear acrylic so that everything is smooth and flat. Love that. 
Now we're going in with these purplish pinky bows. But what's crazy is when we had put the uh, the clear acrylic on top of that, it actually ended up turning silver. So something about that oxidation don't work out. So if you did want that color, just expect for it to turn out clear. I don't know how you can get that color. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, for all the other nails, she basically just did a variation of different glitters, different chunky glitters. And now that that's all done, the reveal is coming. This is our favorite part. We love this. So right after she's done shaping the nail, shaping the curly, drilling all that down, y'all know how that go. Then we're going to apply with the clear gel polish. And that's when the nails come to life. That's when they pop. I love it. So using gel instead of clear is also beneficial because like I said, it's not going to chip. I am a licensed cosmetologist, so I need my nails to not be chipping because I'm constantly having my hands in water and I don't like lifting. So that tip that she used in the beginning with the gelish is A1, just applying clear nail polish and then we're going to set it under the thing and that is my nails all complete. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this nail tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please go to her channel and watch her videos, okay? She got a bunch of short videos, but like, go watch her videos and tell her to do more nail tutorials because what? She's cheating us at this point. Look at the talent. Look at how perfect. I'm just saying, go hound her for nail tutorials. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys so freaking much. The fact that you're still here listening to my voice, it literally makes me so happy because you made it to the end of the video. Like, I freaking appreciate you so much. Like, I'm literally, my hands are in the air and I'm giving you an air hug. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please turn on your post notifications and subscribe if you're not subscribed. What is this? You made it to the end of the video and you're not going to subscribe like that. <sighs> subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.